Hi, my name is Rich Lee. I recently got magnets implanted in my ears. So I'm going to make speakers out of them. So it goes like this. You can stick magnets into your ears, get a coil and an amplifier, stick the coil around your neck. you got to have a backup supply of batteries like this. But once the coil's on your neck, you can plug a jack into your phone. It's amplified, right? Instead of sending it through earbuds like like it would you know with with headphones or, or whatever, it sends it into the coil. So what does that do? That creates a magnetic field that causes the magnets in my ears to create sound, which is a trip. I've also got this magnet implanted in my finger, and I find that when I stick my finger into my ear and the coil's going, I can hear music coming out of my fingertips, which is a crazy experience. Not a lot of people have had that happen to them. It's kind of cool. Anyway, it's a neat thing. All right, so once I've done that, I can hit play on my phone. The batteries will help give it backup power, and I can hear through my magnets. They start buzzing. It doesn't tickle. It's uh, so faint. I mean, I can squeeze on these things while it's playing, and I can still hear audio. It's pretty cool. Neat experience. You can try this yourself. Get one of those eBay kits or go online. I don't sell them. There's a lot of people online that do. Uh, get a good unit. <clears throat> Spend 25, 30 bucks, whatever it is, and it'll come with some small magnets that you could put in your ear canal and you could experience this. So the sound comes out of the magnet itself and not out of a standard earbud. So uh, a lot of people will be emailed me saying, Hey, you're completely insane. You got magnets put in your ears. What are you thinking? Yeah, this is something that was pretty premeditated. Yes, it is an exploratory thing. I, uh, I'm not planning on selling anything here. I don't want you to think this is a product. Don't ask me to buy it. Don't try to buy one from me because I won't sell it to you. <clears throat> you can go make one yourself. You can explore this yourself. If you want magnets put in your ears, go see a body modification person. Uh, some piercers might do it. Uh, it's something that's uh, still in its infancy. So, you know, you're going to have to play around with it. I recommend that you get a standard unit and mess around with that first. Uh, I'm still messing with mine. The thing about grinding is it requires patience, which is a paradox in the grinder community because a lot of us are really impatient to get things done. Okay, but just to go over some of the uh, some of the questions I've got asked so far, uh, since I've had my magnetic implants, have I communicated with Satan? Um, the answer is no. No, I haven't communicated with Satan yet. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, uh, next question I get asked is, aren't you afraid that your ears are going to get hacked by hackers? No, I'm not. Neither should you be worried. <laughs> My ears are safe. They're not going to get hacked by hackers. Hackers are not hacking your refrigerator magnets, are they? They're not going to hack my ears. Uh, one lady emailed me asking me if I was an Illuminati tool. Um, no, not. I applied, but <clears throat> all the uh, Illuminati tool positions were filled. And so I'm going to try again next year. Uh, hopefully these new cybernetics will win them over. If there's something that I haven't covered or you still have questions, uh, leave me a message and I'll try to make a video reply or read off an FAQ or something like that. Go to the website biohack.me and you can see the project discussed openly. Uh, we're still in the middle of it. Other people are trying it too. You can try it yourself if you want. Uh, remember, you're not putting regular magnets into your ears. Uh, you're going to want some that have been bioproofed. Highly recommend getting the procedure done by a professional.
like I said before, <clears throat> definitely worth it. Anyway, that's it for me and my nifty earbuds. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, if you have any questions, get at me.